This is input here. The scope here, the left channel and right channel, they are almost even. So basically, they are pretty close. So the problem should be on the power amplifier, not in the preamp. Check the power amplifier. This is the front channel left, and this is the front channel right. And I hook up the uh, output from speaker uh, because this unit uh, doesn't go through this uh, speaker protection mode, so it doesn't have a relay. So I can hook up directly to the uh, speaker terminals here. And I still put the uh, signal input from the preamp here because preamp is okay. So we can turn down the power now. Okay, so you can see. Okay, so the uh, left channel is no signal now.
Okay, I'm going to check the uh, power transistor, the voltage now. Let me turn on the power. Okay. Uh, Q12, supposed to correct to 21.4. So we can take a look here. It's uh, 20.4. So it's not that bad. Let's see this one. This one's supposed to be 42.2. So this one had problem. And then this one's supposed to be 42.2. So 42.32 is okay. And this one, 20.4. Uh, little bit, oh, but it's not that bad. Okay, so this is okay. And this one, support 21.4. So it's not bad, 20.56. This one, support 42.2. So it's okay. This one, support 42.2. So this one's bad. This channel's bad. 31.4. So based on the measurement, uh, this one's bad. This channel, left channel's bad. And then on the real or uh, right channel's bad too. So only uh, front, right channel are good. Uh, in the back channel, that channel's good. So we need to repair this channel and uh, this channel, channel one and channel four. the scope to check the output. So of course I turn on the power. You can see the scope uh, left channel and right channel. So Okay, I'm going to do the final test. Sound very good, especially uh, uh, listen to jazz music.